How is it going YouTube? Scott the Mass Nerder here, bringing you my next edition in the roles for each kit. And in this one, we are going to be talking about the Engineer. And you know what the Engineer carries? That's explosives. And over the course of my Battlefield gaming experience, I have grown to love explosives. And I'm loving the increased destruction you get in B2K. But that's neither here nor there. We've already talked about the support class. You know we mentioned the support class is sort of going to play that supportive role. We talked about the assault class, which can either play the medic role, which is also sort of a stay back role, or the assault role. Well, the engineer is going to be more like the assault. It's going to be up close and personal. He carries guns with power and high rate of fire. So he's going to be able to take down people real quick up close. What this video is going to be focusing on is more of the engineer's role in infantry warfare. Okay, we are going to be talking more about its role with a vehicle in part two of this video. But let's move into what you should be seeing on your screen. That's just going to be the engineer kit and loadouts. Just showing you everything real quick. And then the video will be moving into showing you some of these tactics in action in no specific order. Just the clips mixed together showing you some of the things we're talking about. So you saw all the weapons and then we're going to move into the gadgets. Gadget 1, we're doing with its rockets, and we have three different types of rockets to choose from. We have the SMAW, which is just a free fire rocket, also like an RPG. You're either going to come with five rockets or ten if you're using the explosive specialization. And then we have the Javelin, which is a lock on to ground vehicles, or with laser designator from the SoFlam, SITV, or laser painter. It can lock on to air vehicles, and that's going to come with two to four rockets, depending on what specialization is. And lastly, in Gadget 1, we have the Stinger, or IGLA. This is for air vehicle lock-on. And, you know, it can be fired from other vehicles as well if you're in a passenger seat. And that's going to come with 3 or 6 with the explosive specialization. As we move to Gadget 2, that's where you're going to have the options for Mines, Repair Tool, or the EOD Bot. Now, it really all depends on your play style. If you have a lot of engineers in the game, I'd say try to mix it up. Mines are just another great way to wash your flanks and get kills without having to do much work. And they really are deadly to enemy vehicles. My issue is, I just seem to always put them in a place with low traffic. I'd rather be in the action, in control of all my gadgets, and that goes for all kits, and why I usually run the repair tool. A benefit though, is you can actually set them up on non-vehicle maps as an extra defensive measure. Set them up on a flank, and say an enemy comes through that way, Lob a grenade over there, and it all goes boom, okay? And you're going to take that guy down. And the EOD bot is sort of a unique thing. To be honest, I've never used it. Again, it sort of goes back to, do you want to be out of the action, or do you want to be in it using your gun? And I prefer using my gun being in the action, so it's just not for me. If you don't mind getting out of it and doing that, it could be a pretty useful tool. As I use it and learn more about it, and other things like this, like the map, I'll release more of my opinions and tactics on them at that point. So all you have left is a repair tool. And that's great if you have any friendly vehicles on the map because you can help repair them if the time calls for it. Also, it's a great if you just want to kill somebody with some class. Now that all that is out of the way, let's talk about how my squad uses the engineer on the battlefield. The NG will become most effective on maps where you are forced to deal with enemy vehicles or maintain friendly vehicles. But, he is not limited to just maps of vehicles. The engineer should be your main aggressor, sharing the role with the assault kit, but not the medic, remember. And if you don't remember those, you can go back to the assault video and check up on those. The difference between the assault and the NG in the aggressor role is that while the assault can maintain firefights at range, the NG will struggle here. Though, bring it in close, and the NG can drop the enemy like flies, especially with great controllable hip fire on most of his guns. We'll first talk about the role as the aggressor, ignoring vehicles at the moment. Like the assault, the engineer will be the first man into a building in most cases, hopefully being covered and supported by either a medic support or someone else playing an overwatch role. He needs to have a sharp eye and good callouts. This will allow him to spot those guys peeking through windows, hiding in the shadows of the corners, and the callouts will allow him, even if he goes down, to alert his team of the enemy positions, allowing them to revenge and revive. The engineer's explosive should not be taken for granted in any game mode either. You can clear long hallways, destroy enemy cover, open up new lines of sight for you and your team through walls and buildings, and not to be forgotten, you can kill enemies with it. 
And now it is good to learn which structures actually are destructible in the game and which are not. This can do two new things for you. Obviously, with destructible environment, you can destroy enemy cover, collapse their buildings. Also, like I said, you can put holes in the wall for new lines of sight for your team and yourself. But you can use indestructible to your advantage as well. Though the kill radius on most explosives is small, if the enemy is in a room or around a corner and they have their backs to an indestructible wall, you can use that to keep the explosive damage close to the target. Instead of aiming directly at them or the ground, shoot at the wall right behind them. This will increase your chances of hitting or killing them. And even if you don't get the kill, hit markers are great. It lets you know their location even if you don't see them. So you know if they're still in that room, behind that cover or corner, without exposing yourself to any danger. Explosive damage can suppress, confuse, disorientate, disable, and kill. Use this to your advantage. Remember, the assault underbarrel grenade launcher can function in the same way, so this is just another way these two kits share roles. But this kit is amazing in close quarters and in modifying the environment to fit the needs of your squad. He will be breaching buildings and getting those quick tight kills. Screw doors, you have explosives, make your own doors. Surprise the enemy and use your fast rate of fire to drop them before they know what hit them. With the help of the support and medic giving cover fire and watching your back, you'll be a great addition to any squad. And to think, we haven't even talked about all he can do when vehicles enter the mix. Stay tuned for part 2 of the engineer kit, where we'll be talking about how the engineer can work with vehicles and also a bit into ground vehicle tactics as well. And before you go, I want to share a little teaser with you in two videos. Now this teaser relates to the Battlefield community. So I'm not going to give anything away yet, but you're welcome to go to their site at battlefieldo.com. The link will be in the description and see if you can figure it out on your own. Also, the video in the top right is going to be the rolls to the assault kit because obviously I brought it up multiple times in this video. And in the video responses to that video, you'll see the rolls to the support kit. Also, in the bottom left, you're going to see callouts for Tehran Highway. Now, I'm doing callouts for all the maps, but you guys always have an option to get involved. You can follow me on Twitter, on Facebook, and I'll send out a link when the images are up on Photo Bucket. You guys can run over there, check them out, and give me some ideas how to edit them or anything I missed. So check those out and leave some feedback. Thanks for watching, ladies and gents. Happy gaming.